The short time that I've been here, you know, you, I've seen what type of character. He's a great character, he's a great person to have around, and he's the type of player who just wants to play. You know, he, he was struggling with a knee injury, and he, he hardly trained, but he always said he's ready to play, and, you know, we need him. He's one of, for me, one of the best strikers in the Premier League. You know, I've, I've played with a few good strikers, and he's up there with them. You know, he, what he brings to the team is so important to us. So important to West Ham, but they do find themselves in a difficult situation and that his, his brother and agent, Jamie, is, is talking about a move away. He wants the club to allow him to, to release him. He's saying they're going to double their money on him. It's a, it's a difficult position for the, the club to be in. Hugely difficult. I mean, we're especially, it's been difficult for him to a certain extent because I've always heard him talk about he wants to play for a big club, top six, but the truth is he wants to go to China. And if you going to go to China, you want to go for the money. No disrespect, it's a fact. And if someone's offering you 300 grand a week, it's hard to turn down. I get it, if, that's, if you're that way inclined. But for me, it's such a difficult one because West Ham want to keep him. As Jack says, he's so important to the team. But if you want to get 40 million pounds for him, 29, nearly 30, you have to look at it. Because the last thing you want is an unhappy player. They had it with Dimitri Payet a couple of years ago here. It, it doesn't help, it doesn't help the dressing room. And you can't afford to pay him 300,000 pounds a week. He's not worth it. So. I understand every single position. If you can say, give me to the end of January, get me goals and work hard, and then in the end of January, we'll sell you. That might be the ideal situation and go and try and buy someone. But for 40 million pounds, it's not that easy to go and get someone, is it? No, <laughs> but they do, they do need him. And I suppose what West Ham can try and persuade him is that building the team around him. He is that leading man in that team. And what Pellegrini's come in and done, he's building, he's bringing in players. And they are, West Ham are in a good position going forward, looking up the top of the table instead of behind them like they were last season. And he has been a real fans favorite. Mm. So far, we'll see yeah. how the West Ham fans yeah. react to him You want to keep him, of course yeah. you do, but West Ham will survive with or without him. Yeah. You know, they've done it before and Payet left, someone else comes along. There's always somebody else that will come along. But you, what you don't want to do is held, you know, to account by somebody that's saying, I want this, and your brother's coming out and saying, it just doesn't look well. It doesn't look good on him. I mean, his brother needs to keep his mouth shut, doesn't he, really? He's not helping him at all.